Hello everyone, it is me, Ilian, from Game Trading Bulgaria, and the time has come for me to share with you yet another trading plan. Uh, this week we are going to do a similar um, content pro providing like uh, last week. I'm going to share two trading plans, which will be short-term trading plans, instead of one weekly long-term trading plan, as the market is still uh, pretty much unpredictable. So uh, we'll try and uh, get some profits on a more short-term period of time. Uh, this week, today, uh, we are going to look at the Great British Pound uh, USD currency pair. And uh, what you see on the screens now is the H4 uh, time frame. Uh, sorry, it's the H1, so I'm turning to the H4. Now, uh, we are going to check the H4, then go down to the H1 and we'll finish off the plan on the M15. Uh, in the process, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about what I expect from the price on the higher time frames and where I will be looking for entries. Uh, again, my uh, live signals will be posted on our Telegram channel as well as on our Twitter page, so join the Telegram channel and follow us on Twitter so you get notified. Now, uh, back to the chart, uh, this is the H4 time frame and I've already marked a few areas. Uh, first of all, you can see that we have an H4 resistance area here. Uh, this uh, area has been formed by this uh, consolidation here after the price uh, dropped heavily down from all the way here you can see after this drop we had a small consolidation here then another drop a small consolidation here and then yet another drop now at this point this uh, area uh, hasn't been uh, touched yet by the price so I expect it to uh, work as a resistance at least uh, in the short term usually those areas work like that and as you can see I also marked an H4 support area where previously uh, the price bounced a few times first here it acted as a support then after the break on this candle it acted as a pretty much strong, strong resistance. Even here, the price consolidated inside of it before going up. So at this point, I believe this uptrend wave will finish somewhere here at the H4 resistance area, and then we'll see another wave down back to the H4 support, or this uh, H4 risky target at 1.2692, uh, which is this previous bottom form the price here. Now going to the H1, ah, one more thing here, I would like to turn on the Ichimoku indicator and show you that obviously we're in a downtrend, but currently the price is inside the Ichimoku quad, which tends to act as a resistance or support area, in our case a resistance, so I don't expect uh, for the price to break both the Ichimoku cloud and this H4 resistance. Now going down to the H1 time frame. Uh, this blue line indicates uh, the previous top the price made over here. You can see how strong uh, the reaction was uh, from this uh, level. This is at around 1.2810. And as you can see now, it also acted as a support uh, for the last two candles. The previous one touched it. And so far we are seeing a uh, uh, surge in price. Now my expectations are for the next few candles, uh, the bull run to continue up to this H4 resistance. And from there, uh, we can see a drop. Now, of course, there is a chance that the drop uh, we'll stop here again, then we'll have some uh, correction maybe and then we'll see a further drop to the H4 support area down here. Now, uh, also 
there is the chance that the price won't make a higher high here and it will just go down but in any case uh, I would wait for a break of this top previous top at 1.2810 uh, before entering into a sell position uh, again here if we turn on the moving 200 moving average it's f far down so there is enough room for the pair to make a downtrend uh, also the Ichimoku indicator is a lot long long uh, down like it's here but still again there is enough room for the price to make a nice downtrend now going to the M15, uh, there is not much to say here, uh, let me turn on the Bollinger Bands, you can see that currently the price is moving in sort of a square formation, although not a perfect one, uh, which is uh, formed by this uh, line we talked about and by this previous top here. Uh, again on the M15 I will be looking for either a break of this uh, line, this level or a continuation of the uptrend up to here and then I'll look for uh, some uh, nice signals to enter into a short position. Now, For example uh, one of these signals could be an uptrend from here to here and then either some engulfing here or uh, some other uh, price action formation, candle formation and then a drop. I might look also for a break of this previous top here uh, before entering. Uh, but again I will update you on that on our uh, Telegram channel or Twitter profile. This is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the plan, I hope you will follow it and most importantly I hope we will be able to make some profits. Uh, I will post another uh, short term trading plan this Thursday and uh, next week I will be on vacation so there will be no trading plans or other content uh, from me. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you a profitable week.